Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew a facing to a curved neckline. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a facing and what a facing is, is a second layer of fabric that you apply to a neckline, a waistline, an armhole, you know there are different areas in which you can apply this kind of method and what I've done here is I've applied fusible interfacing and then once I've done that I've neatened the raw edge, the outer edge and then I've sewn the shoulder seams and pressed those open. Now that is ready to be uh, applied to the garment. Here we have the curved neckline of the garment and uh, what you need to do before you apply your facing is to stay stitch the areas of your garment and then you will sew the shoulder seams and press those open and it's now ready for the facing to be placed on top so you work it on the right side of your garment the right side of your facing and what you do you match up your side seams and also your notches you need to make sure that your side seams your shoulder seams I should say are matched up so do those first and the next one and you just pin them into position and then just match up your notches and continue pinning all the way around. Now that I've pinned my facing to the neckline of the garment the next thing to do is take it to your sewing machine and sew uh, a seam allowance of 1.5 centimetres 5 8 of an inch all the way around. I'm now at my machine and you need to make sure it's easier that you actually sew with your facing face up towards you and back stitch I'm starting at the centre back pull my pins out as I go you just continue sewing that all the way around until you reach the other side The facing is now sewn onto the neckline of the garment and the next thing is to do is to reduce the bulk in your seam allowance and once you've done that you will be trimming and grading your seam. I've done a video tutorial for that so please visit my video channel on YouTube in order to get to know what the technique is like. So continue just cutting all the way around and I'll come back to you. I have now graded and trimmed trimmed and graded my seam allowance to reduce the bulk and also clipped into it. Because it's curved, you need to make sure you do clip into it so that when you turn the facing to the wrong side of the garment, it will actually lie flatter. And before you do that, you need to open out your garment like that so you actually see the seam, then press. And then once you've done that, you need to do another second row of stitching, which is going to be the under stitching. And I have done a video tutorial on that, so do visit the channel and just stitch all the way around the neckline. And there we have it, a beautifully faced curved neckline. Now this is what it looks like on the front. And I'm now going to show you what it looks like on the... So there's all my trim of the seam and clipping in order for it to lay to lay to lie flat and the under stitching that helps to keep the facing with inside the garment well I hope you found this video tutorial of help now for a quick overview for facings you can find facings as I've just demonstrated on necklines armholes waistlines and they're used for covering up the raw edges to that particular part of the garment and also giving support and stability now for the other techniques that i've used in this video please visit my fashion sewing blog tv channel in where you can find videos on how to stay stitch how to trim and grade and how to under stitch and that will give you a perfect looking neckline when using a facing if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.